Hi, Matt Allington here. I'm going to show you a common pattern where you get an extract from a system such as SAP or Microsoft Dynamics. Each day you get a new file and let me open this file. So this is a file say from uh, 18th of December and you can see that this file contains just transactions for that one day but tomorrow when the next file comes out or the next day when the next file comes out it contains a superset of all the transactions so it contains all the transactions from the original day plus the new transactions for the additional day and so basically this file is going to grow incrementally over time and just get longer and longer so for this particular scenario we need to load the latest version of the file so I'm going to use Power BI Desktop. What we don't want to do is come in and say get data from Excel. If I do that and then work my way back to this file, if I hard code this and point it to this file, then tomorrow I need to repoint it to the new file name. So that's going to be an issue. And so instead, instead of loading directly from Excel, I'm going to say get data. I'm going to say get data from folder and I don't like the browse in Power Query. I prefer just to copy it from here. And so now I've got a list of all my folders. Now I'm not going to hit combine. I'm just going to go straight away and go edit. So this loads the connection to the folder and you can see the files here. Now I'm going to pick one of these columns to use as the sort column. It really depends on your data, but you can see here, this is just sample data that I created. So the one on the 18th um, has a, a date timestamp before the one on the 19th. So I'm going to sort by this column descending. And what that will do is it will bring the latest version of the file to the top. And now if I come up here, um, if I click on this binary now, that's actually going to load the data from that one single file. And so now I'm going to click on table and promote first row as headers and so this has basically loaded the last file now it's really important when you do this that you come back here and be clear at what happens inside power query so i definitely recommend you turn on formula bar and so if i click here you can see that it has hard coded the name of the first file in the list which is the name of this file here um, it's also hard coded here, the path. I don't have to use this hard coding. So what I can do is I can come up here and delete this. And instead of using this absolute naming convention, I can just use zero, which says, give me the first row. And um, so this is now a relative reference to the first row rather than a hard coded reference to the first row. So if I hit tick now, you'll see that it still works, but now I haven't referred to the name in the folder, it's just given me the first row. What I normally like to do now is I like to just rename this step um, because I don't like this reference to the folder, and so I'm just going to say select first row. just makes it easier to debug later on, and so now this um, is continuing to work. So now I can go, uh, I should give it a new name, I'll call it sales, and I'll do uh, close and apply, and then just build a quick visual, and then I'll load some new data, and you'll see um, that it automatically works. So let's just bring this in here. I'll just bring date and quantity. I'll get rid of the hierarchy, and I'll turn it into a table. All right, so I should also switch the theme. You can read my blog article about how to do this um, on my blog. Just search for changing defaults in Power BI. Okay, so there's the first two days of data. And now I'm going to go ahead and import um, a new day's worth of data. So I have another file here dated the 20th. I'm going to copy that into my folder come back into Power BI Desktop, and if I hit Refresh, you'll see that the extra day has just flowed through because my query has picked up the latest file which has been added to the folder. 
zero touch, minimal amount of rework after you've created the query. If you like this tip, why not have a look at my online power query training? You can find it from my website, Learn Power Query Online. I've got a whole lot of free samples that you can take a look at, and I give a complete coverage of how to use Power Query with tips like the one shown in this video.